Okay, we talked about this uh, yesterday. I'm gonna give you a bit more detail. Talked about how do you climb the mast if there's no halyards going up the mast. And I'm gonna show you a way to uh, use uh, essentially, you know, lines that you've got on deck, spare halyards, dock lines, even a snub line. Um, and uh, how to essentially put prussics around the mast and then slide them up the mast to uh, climb the mast and safely uh, with minimum of two points of contact two anchors to the mast um, at all times and uh, how to climb the mast with uh, generally uh, no specialized gear and we'll show you how to do that here's the gear um, basically we got one short sling here uh, that's a tape sling and it's got two carabiners attached to it with a knot in the middle I'll show you what that's for um, these here are uh, uh, we call them cows tails uh, you know and I guess those are specialized uh, for climbing however um, they don't you don't necessarily you can make those out of other cord if you like I do have one um, sling ladder or a rope ladder but I'm going to show you how to make one of those just from a couple of pieces of line here that I have lying around on the boat as well as uh, my anchor snubbing liner is going to be the the ropes that I use to actually climb which is really what the where the money is on this stuff so to speak so I'm going to walk you through it one step at a time here uh, shortly so basically we're going to climb the mast with no halyards we got some line here two, two lengths of line we got one this one's probably uh well i bet you uh, 15 feet long and i got a longer one here but the first piece of the puzzle is to set it up with a prussic around the mat so i'm going to show you how to do that basically you're passing it through i'll give you a close-up of this later but around the mast twice and uh, snug it up and there you go now you're going to tie a simple overhand right close to the knot then you're going to tie another one but you're going to leave a little bit of a loop there so you can grab a hold of it uh, when it's under tension i'll show you more of that in a minute um, the uh, i'm going to get this set up and then we're going to do a close-up so then i get my second line same same idea i mean this is all in real time here so i'm going to find the middle basically super fast and then i'm going to do the same thing you do the prussic knot around the mast and uh we'll bring it around and then you slide that up above the other one. So you can see already now when I weight that, and then the same thing, I'm going to do an overhand and uh, up close to the knot. So now what I want to show you is how you make a ladder, how you make a rope ladder. And uh, so that when you load it, you actually got room to step. So come about two feet down, give yourself a little bit of slack like that. And then we're going to just do an overhand, pull it through. So pull it through, all the way. And uh, well, there we go. Now we got a step that can be under load that you can get your hand or your foot in. And we're going to do the same thing underneath. You know, another one like that, about that height, same idea. So that's so that when you're on the, when you're standing in it, you got a handhold to grab. Makes it a lot easier. It's an old climbing thing. Same thing on the bottom. Now take your, take your long end and make the, make the foothold out of the long line. So there we go. And about there, and uh, go like this. So now, essentially, you got prussic around the mast 
with a little rope ladder underneath it and I got real specialized gear. And uh, so I'm going to show you, you know, so how does this work? So basically, we're going to slide this up, the lock, and then we're going to stand on here like this. See, now it holds. We'll get to that part in a minute. Now we're going to do a close-up of the Prusik knot around the mast. I want to show you the Prusik knot around the mast right up close and personal here so you can see what it is I'm doing. I've got this piece of line here. It's about... This one's about 15 feet long. You can see it's a good hefty diameter. Um, I wouldn't use anything thinner than this around the mast. And basically, the prusik knot, same as you do on a, on a rope, we're just doing it around the mast. So the first step is the girth hitch, pretty straightforward. And then for the prusik knot, we're effectively coming around and through one more time. And that is the prusik knot now around the mast. And we'll tighten it up and just by way of showing you what's the way this is going to work is we're going to slide this up and we're going to load it and that's how we're going to climb the mast. So the next step now is do a simple overhand here. So now we got something we can clip into and then we want to make a little ladder rung down here so we give ourselves a little bit of slack up here so basically the idea is create some slack there and then do the do another overhand right here and there we go now we've got a, essentially a, a little step that we can now step into okay so now we've got the two prusiks on the mast one above the other one is uh got a, a long uh got the homemade uh, sort of rope ladder on the bottom. This one doesn't, so I'm going to use a, uh, a store-bought one here. So I'm going to clip high here. Um, again, you can just make one of these. I'm just being expedient. I've made one from the loop from the rope. On that, for that one, this one is store-bought. Then we've got the two what we call uh, cow's tails. So you're going to have this one clipped high, but first we're going to attach it to our harness so you can you can do this without using a carabiner or you can use a carabiner. Just a girth hitch um, similar to this one. You can use a girth hitch and uh, bring that through. And uh, I'm going to get this one ready. Um, similarly, it's a third one. This is the short guy, um, and uh, it's got a, it's a normal sort of shoulder length sort of sling with two carabiners on it. So, so you can see here, I got I'm able to clip in two different spots with two carabiners. So basically, um, these are gonna be my attachment points to the prusiks. So one one there and um, one also uh, one there so now I am attached twice to the mast and so that's a key principle for safety is that I'm always attached to the mast at least at two points and so that's easy up to the first spreader and then when we get to the first spreader then we got to change tactics you don't want to, I don't like being attached to the mast with less than two, so I bring up a third. And the reason is because to get these over the spreader, I got to undo them and take them off the mast and move it. So for that moment, I'm only attached with one. So I'm going to bring up, you know, basically, uh, this is actually a snubber line so that I can actually just anchor myself to the mast while I'm doing the transition um, past the spreader. But for now, um, I'm going to clip my short cow's tail uh, low and I may, I may move it. So basically the drill is I'm going to be moving my weight from one to the other and uh, by using the stirrup. So first of all, I'm on the lower I'm on the lower stirrup and I'm using handholds and uh, 
So I, what I want to do is get this bottom one here clipped nice and short. So I'll clip it, clip it there. Now I'm hanging off the lower one. I'm standing in the stirrup, the blue stirrup, and now I'm sliding this one up. And, you know, slide it up as high as you can. And, uh, and then I'm going to step. Okay, so now, you know, this stirrup is a little bit, you know, a little bit low, but I'm going to lift my leg and get it into that one. And, and then I'm going to get ready to, uh, with my short cow's tail, you know, which is here, as I move up, now I'm still, I'm still attached to both of them with the long one. So while I'm moving up, I'm going to get my short cow's tail and I'm going to bring it up to the next piece here. And as an intermediate, I'll clip in and then I can suck it up, you know, even closer and get the other carabiner in. And now, now I'm hanging off the top one. Okay, so now I can... I can uh, get my feet clear of the blue blue sling and raise up the bottom one now. Raise that up right up underneath. And now I can switch feet. Now my foot goes into the blue sling again. And uh, now I'm going to switch my what I call the cow's tail over to the other one. So I'm gonna get the carabiner and there now I'm on that one. So now this this one I can I am now free to slide back up the mast. High as high as possible. And uh, Basically, just repeat that whole thing, you know, the whole way up. And uh, that's how it works. Okay, so now let's just imagine for a minute that, uh, you know, I'm at the spreader here. Let's just say the spreader's here. Can't get these things over top of the spreader. Uh, let's say this, you know, this line in the mass is where the spreader is. So I want to stay clipped. I'm still clipped in twice. So what I'm going to have to do is protect myself while I get past the spreader. So I bring up, you know, another line. In this case, you know, I'm. This is just a. Uh, it's my snubbing line. So a big sturdy line. And uh, I'm basically doing the same thing uh, with another prussic knot around the mast. Uh, well, in fact, it doesn't have to be a prussic, prussic if it's over top of the spreader. But just to keep things consistent, we'll do this in real time here. Uh, you know, okay, and this is again just a snubbing line. So, uh, we'll visualize. Now this is over the spreader, and uh, let's just, you know, spreader, let's say. And now, I'm going to tie another overhand here, and bring that all the way through. That's as, you know, it's as, as simple or complicated as that, and, uh, so, uh, an overhand, uh, you know, you can snug that up fairly, fairly easily. So there you go. So there now, so there's my third one. So now I'm still attached with my short cow's tail. So I'm going to unclip my long one. Okay. So now I'm still attached twice to the mast with this short cow's tail and this one. Then I reach up, you know, above the spreader. Okay, now I'm clipped into the mask three places. So, okay, now what, so what's next? So now I get my little rope ladder here 
and uh, clip that in and I basically stand up on that guy and uh, do the same the same process again with my uh, cow's tail now I'm clipping clipping high up here and uh, there now um, I'm actually clipped as I said now I'm, I'm still attached to the mask three times but now I can undo this one and uh, remember here's the spreader I got to get above the spreader so I undo this prussic because you can't slide a prussic past the spreader so I got to undo the whole shooting match and uh, Yep, yeah, stay organized and uh, keep your balance, you know, all part of the fun. And uh, undo this last piece. And, whoops. Yeah, a That's fine. There we go. Okay, so now I, this line is now free, effectively. And, uh, Okay, so now I got to put this one, you know, so the, the spreader's here, got to put this one up above. And uh, so same thing, you know, the uh, start with the girth hitch, you know, bring it, uh, bring it all the way through. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll fall down, go, there's the girth hitch. So for the full, for the full prusik, uh, bring it all the way around and through again and uh, this is essentially the magic if you will the process and the necessary steps to climb the mast so now um, I am now got two above the mast and I'm still I'm gonna switch now my short cow's tail because I got I'm, I'm still clipped down here with this blue one I want to change I want to clip into this one hard with my cow's tail I'm going to I'm going to or whatever it takes so now I'm now well I'm in this one and I'm into this one independently this now one is redundant so effectively now I can then take this off and raise that above the spreader place it above the spreader and that is the process and the protocol to uh, climb a mast safely with no halyards I know it's going to take a while. As you can see, it's it's quite a there's quite a lot involved here, but I am I am safe. I, at all times, I am clipped to the mast and anchored to the mast in at least two places all the time. That's the main thrust of the whole whole exercise, and uh, that brings us to uh, to the end here. Now, on a second thought, um, in general, climbing the mast single-handed is perhaps, it's one of the most dangerous things that a single-hander or a sailor can do. Um, the, uh, you know, I'm showing you all of this. Um, I'm a rock climber, big wall climber, you know, I, since I was 14, I'm 55 years old. Um, you know, maybe I'm making this look easy, maybe I'm making it look hard. But I have done this literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. Um, and um, 
So I, you know, the first 50 times you're doing this, slow it down, think it through, think about the process, think about the fundamentals. Um, it is dangerous. If you make a mistake and even a single mistake, even from a height as low as this, I'm not very high off the deck here, but if I made a mistake now and fell and hit my head, uh, I could be killed. And it's not a whole bunch higher from here that if I made a mistake, I would be killed or I'd be crippled. And when you're single handing, you know, there's nobody to call the cavalry. So you make sure that you get your systems figured out, stay safe, you know, safety first. Um, and uh, that's essentially what I wanted to say on that, on that piece. Now, uh, okay, so how do you get down? You know, you don't have a halyard. Same idea, you just reverse the process, okay? So now I'm gonna take my cow's tail and uh, I'll clip it low and uh, I'll hang off of that one as I'm coming down, reversing. And now I, uh, I have to undo the upper one. In this, in this scenario, um, we, uh, you know, we talked about getting past the spreader, so you got to reverse it, you know, reverse the, uh, reverse it all. Uh, in this case, I'm going to, I'm going to be expedient here just to show you essentially how to get down. Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to drop that one for now to keep it because you know, that one really was for the illustration, the sake of the illustration. Um, I am still clipped to two prussics, so in this case, I'm going to clip to the lower one and then unweight this one. And this is basically is the illustration of how you're going to come back down if you don't have a halyard. You know, ideally, uh, yeah, so you get that as low as possible and uh, come down stand on your ladder again you're sort of reversing that process you know flipping into the other one and uh, once, once my weight's off it then uh, uh, I can drop it you got to be careful you don't it's not binding lower that down and uh, now I want to I'm down to the sail height there so Get my weight off the top one, and I'm getting close to the back now, so I think you, uh, you, know, you get the idea. So now I'm back on the ground. That's effectively the up and the down. You got no halyards. Key point, key message. A couple of them. One is make sure your rope. These these lines are are hefty. You no know, heftier the better. And then number two is always make sure you're anchored with at least two points to the mass. I want to repeat that many, many times because when you try this yourself, I want you to be thinking it through very carefully. Okay, I clipped with two. Now I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to pass the spreader. Okay, now I'm I've clipped to two independent. Okay, now I'm going to undo the third one, clip to the other two. You know, and you have that conversation with yourself, even out loud. You know, as you begin, just so that it's, you're constantly checking and rechecking yourself. Consequences of a mistake could be fatal. It could be a hospital ride. It could be a wheelchair. Um, it could be death. And uh, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to overstate it. I don't want to understate it. Climbing the mast single-handed is dangerous. You need to pay attention to the details. That's critical. Anyway, that's all for now. Until next time, good luck.